Broadcast. This is Brother Clay, 21st of September 2020. Hope everyone has, is, and will have a wonderful day. This is our story. This is our song, praising our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, all the day long. We're in the Gospel of John now, going verse for verse. We just finished the Gospel of Mark. And we're so thankful that you're joining with us live. Please comment. Let us know where you're from, if you're new to the broadcast, and also thank you uh, uh, for sharing the broadcast. If you haven't done that, hit the share button. Also, tag people, invite people. Thank you for promoting a Word for the Word broadcast. All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer. We'll get right into the Word of God. Spend a few minutes in the Word. Teach a few principles uh, that I've drawn out from my studies, and then we will... Uh, I was looking at a note that came across the screen. Yes, turn in your prayer requests and praise reports. We'll get to them in just a minute. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, honor your word. Honor the word of God, the Bible. Honor your son, Jesus Christ, as we lift him up on our broadcast. Holy Spirit, anoint what we're doing. and Give us a good day of rest. And also, Lord, give us a productive day. And also, we pray that you would give us uh, your people, your love, wisdom, and power. Save the lost nearest to hell. Reclaim the prodigals in the far country. And bless anybody that's doing anything for you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, John chapter 1. Now, this is this. these are not the only verses in the Word of God that discuss John the Baptist, the forerunner of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, there's several scriptures, and I don't want to get we could get easily bogged down studying all the scriptures concerning John the Baptist. We're just going to study a few verses here that speak of him and uh, share a few thoughts collectively uh, about the life of John the Baptist in this morning's broadcast. Verse 6, John chapter 1, there was a man sent from God. And now my friend, that's the only people that make a difference for Christ in this world. you got to be saved, called, and sent by God. And as John the Baptist definitely was sent and called and saved by God, whose name was John. Now this isn't the beloved John the disciple who wrote this gospel and also wrote 1st, 2nd, 3rd John of Revelation. This is John the Baptist, the earthly cousin of Jesus, and he is the, the one that baptized Jesus he was a uh, very famous evangelist in Jesus' day. He was the one that was beheaded 
for preaching against the sins of the political king of that day in that area. And uh, Jesus said up to that time, as I understand it, no man born of woman was greater than John the Baptist. So we see uh, uh, the same came for a witness. And that's the mission of all of us. We are a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ to bear witness of the light. Now, who is the light? The light of the world, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that all men through him might believe, not just Jewish people, but every race. God came for the whole world, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever uh, believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So we are called, we are saved, we are called, we are sent, uh, we are spirit anointed and filled to preach the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, Jesus saves to any sinner that will appropriate what he did on the cross, dying for their sins, onto their soul. And the blood of Jesus washes their sins away and they accept Christ in their heart. The Bible says that John the Baptist, he was not that light. He was a witness to the light, but was sent. That's the key. We are sent right here on this broadcast on Facebook and also right now Instagram and other things to follow in the future. Uh, why? To bear witness of that light. That's all we can do is be a witness for what the Lord has done in our life and what the Lord has done for the whole world by dying for their sins too and conquering death, hell, and the grave and arising from the dead on the third day through the power of the Holy Ghost, the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. If they will hear the gospel and the Holy Spirit will call them and convict them and draw them, if, if they will repent and trust Christ, then they will be saved as their personal Lord and Savior. So, uh, the scriptures to uh, tomorrow at 12 o'clock will be John chapter 1, verses 1 through John chapter 1, verses 9 through 14. John 1, 9 through 14. Now, let me give you a few thoughts about John the Baptist. Very few thoughts, just a few. John the Baptist uh, was the... Uh, uh, sent, saved, anointed prophet and forerunner and messenger of the Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross later on uh, after John the Baptist baptizing for the sins of the world, the sacrificial savior, the Lamb of God. He also uh, proclaimed the spirit baptizing of the Savior in Mark chapter 1. We see uh, thus Passover Christ is our Passover, his death on the cross, and Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit into every believer's heart, uh, is uh, preached by John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a voice crying in the wilderness. John the Baptist was a burning, shining light. John the Baptist, uh, <clears throat> his preaching of repentance and faith in a, toward in, and in the Lamb of God, the Savior of the world, to be saved, he preached bringing forth fruit meat for true repentance and the duties are required of people and uh, by God. He was the prophet of the Old Testament. Malachi 4, 5, and 6 prophesied that he would be a forerunner of Christ. And uh, he was a herald to prepare the people, the nation of Israel, for the Savior and the Messiah. So he was a man of prayer. He was a man who was... Uh, very popular but humble. He was the one he told uh, everyone that G when Jesus started drawing bigger crowds than him, uh, he uh, said, Jesus must increase and I must, no, Jesus must increase and I must decrease. He was a fearless preacher. He rebuked evil and preached the Savior of the world, the Lamb of God. He personalized his messages of repentance to the individuals. And he also was persecuted for his stand for God and later died, uh, was beheaded by the wicked king for preaching against the king's sin and also thrown into prison for that. We see that, uh, and by the way, that prison that he was thrown in was uh, about, uh, was in the city of that king. And uh, there was two, uh, two parts of that prison and scholars say, that John the Baptist was thrown in the dungeon part. The other part had uh, hot springs and was more uh, like a luxurious prison for special 
prisoners. Uh, John the Baptist got the rough end of the deal on that too. So he was a man. He was God's man. He came from a godly lineage. His parents were godly. He was a man of conviction. Uh, you didn't have to guess where he stood on the issues. He was a man of courage. Nothing or no one changed his convictions. Uh, he was a man of humility, and he was filled and anointed with the Holy Ghost. He was also his methods. Uh, he, uh, he was clothed with camel's hair and skin hair, uh, camel skin hair and girdled of skin for a belt. Uh, he, he, that was his dress. His diet was uh, wild honey and locusts. Uh, he, his decorum was like none of the religious, religious leaders of his day. Uh, his debut was on the banks of the Jordan River in the wilderness. That was his pulpit. His pulpit was the open air. And his design that God drew the people to him. Uh, and he did not compromise his message. And his dependence was not on bringing in some uh, popular political figure or some uh, talented athlete or someone talented or popular, but he just depended on the power of God to draw the crowds and to anoint his message he was preaching for Jesus. What was his message? A message of contrition, of repentance, humility, and contrition, a message of conversion and of changed life, and a message of compassion, confession, uh, and also uh, condemnation of the religious leaders for their prejudices, pride, and hypocrisy, the political leaders for their sins of lust, adultery, and he warned of impending judgment of the Lord against all those who are unrepented. And he preached the crucified Lamb of God, uh, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Now, if you were to look over in Mark chapter 1, you will see the promise of the new king, uh, the prophet, he was the prophet of the new king, and he let folks know that Jesus Christ was preeminent over him and everyone else. So we hope that you enjoyed that short lesson on the, uh, not, not a, definitely not a complete lesson, but a lesson on the life of John the Baptist. All right, it's time for prayer and praise requests. Let's see what we have here today. We will pray. Yes. Uh, all right. Preacher Clay will still pray for my son, David Sims, that God will save him and his girlfriend. They need God so bad. So, all right. We pray in the name of Jesus. We prayed, I think, two days ago for or three days ago for within 30 days. Now we pray within 26 days that Brother Charles and his wife Lillian will see signs, wonder, signs wonders, and miracles in the life of their son, David. I believe I met David one time. Uh, only though I can't remember, but I believe I did. Uh, Sailor, if you, you don't comment, I don't know you're there. So uh, let's see, your preacher Clay. Would you pray for Lily? She's got a bad cold, needs God's hand on her, heal her. We love you, Miss you. All right, we pray in Jesus' name for Sister Lillian that you will remove the cold and open up her lungs and her sinuses. We pray that you will lay your hand on her and heal her within the next 48 hours in Jesus' name. All right, anybody else? Freddie Cook, we pray his second opinion. The first opinion said he had stage four cancer and all of that. We pray that the uh, the Lord will uh, heal him of cancer in Jesus' name. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right. Thank you, Lord. Keep us updated on these prayer requests. All right. As I said earlier, we are raising $400 for the new computer system, and that's our next project so far. Uh, we've had uh, one offering come in. Uh, I'm putting $50 toward the 400 but we've got a long way to go, and we won't move one inch till we have the 400. Uh, that's uh, no debt for this ministry till the day I leave the earth. Uh, so I'm trusting Lord. It may take us a few days. It may take us one day. It may take us whenever. But when it happens, we'll get the new computer system and a new camera for our, our outreach and ministry here. 
Uh, there's three ways uh, that you can uh, send your offerings in to help us. Uh, we appreciate the ones that help us personally. There's people out there that we minister the word of God to their life and they sow and, and send love offerings to help us uh, in our personal lives. We appreciate it. Uh, there's a few of you that do that. And then there's some that uh, help us buy books, which that's always the case. I'm always in need of books and whatever the case. But now we're raising $400 toward the, the uh, computer. I'm asking for eight people out there that believe in what I'm doing to uh, give $50 a piece. And that will take care of the camera, the reimbursement of what I had to pay to fix the camera when the computer, when it crashed last week. And also the new computer that's been, that's been rebuilt. Three ways. You can send it to our home address. That's the Mandy and Clay Cordell, 119 Terry, T-E-R-Y Avenue. M and I N M A N South Carolina 29349, or you can send it like someone did, I believe, yesterday or uh, Saturday. Uh, sent an offering in through our Facebook Bay Facebook page, secure account. Go through Messenger, click on your profile pic, scroll down to Facebook Pay, click on it, enter your information on the secure line that's been established with our information. Send your offering. We immediately get it. And we get immediate notifications, and I'll send you a notification that we have it. Also, you can send it to our uh, P.O. box, which my wife checks every Friday. Uh, it is hashtag or pound sign 211, pound sign 211, Boiling Springs Highway, Boiling Springs, South Carolina, 29316. That's hashtag or pound sign 211. 3740 Boiling Springs Highway, Boiling Springs, South Carolina, 29316. I do have a few of you that have decided to follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's Clay Cordell 62. That's C L A Y C O R D E L L 62. I put on a little post on there every day. Uh, like today, I'm studying the book of Revelation every morning and I. Uh, so I'll probably be adding thoughts that I think of or led to by the Holy Spirit to place it on Instagram. All right. That about does it for today. Now tomorrow I'm off again. So I'll be on here at 12 noon. I uh, don't see any other prayer requests or praise reports coming across. Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, if you watch this later, make sure you share it. Make sure you tag people in it. Make sure you invite people. Uh, pray. Uh, I pray riches, God's richest blessings on all of you. I'm going to rest the rest of the day. <laughs> and uh, I was looking here at another prayer request that was given in yesterday. We're praying for a fellow that's having a tough time. He's physically and all this. And he... Uh, his mother sent in a request uh, that he hasn't had any money come in since June. Disability and other things haven't been sent yet. And uh, he's broke and his house payment is due at the end of the week. So today is what? Monday? We pray that by Sunday that uh, his house payment will be paid. You say, well, how's that going to, in Jesus' name, how's that going to happen? I don't know. God's the only one that knows that. But when we pray, he answers. Can I get a witness? Amen. All right. So, won't be on tonight. I don't do but one broadcast on my days off. Uh, of course, now you know tomorrow night is our international prayer meeting. I'm preaching a series of sermons on the cross. Uh, the A, the Z of Calvary. And I'm trying to think. I believe. I'm going to look here real quick. I think we're on the J's of Calvary. I'm going to check here quickly. Yes, we are on the J's of Calvary. Uh, the letter J. We're going to be preaching about the J's of the cross. So be praying about that. Invite people to the international prayer meeting, which will be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we hope that you will. Uh, I'm looking at the outline right now. Looks pretty good. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing the Sunday afternoon Hope in the Lord broadcast. Uh, 
and we pray that you'll go back to Sunday afternoon and pull it off my wall and watch it and share it. We'll appreciate that. And so there's your three ways that you can help us with your offerings. Uh, and so we're a little small little ministry out here in God's big world, but things are going along pretty good. And uh, my wife does a lot to help behind the scenes since I work a full-time job. Uh, so a lot of people ask, not a lot of people, but people that know me ask how I'm doing. I guess I'm doing all right. I'm doing just like anything new. It's a lot to learn and you know how that goes. So we just move it along, doing the best we can. So uh, have a little fellowship time right here before I shut down. We need to pray that the Lord send us some supporters that will faithfully watch and share and uh, invite others and really get behind my uh, route reach here on Facebook. This is our third year starting this month. It's definitely had people come and go like anything. Uh, so we need to pray and really get behind what I'm trying to do here and make an impact for the Lord. And there's going to be other ways, probably in the future, I'm going to step out and do other things for God. Uh, so right now, uh, we need to pray that the Lord bless all of the broadcasts that I'm doing. Because um, we pray for everyone else up there, out there that's doing front for Jesus. So I'm sort of like out of the box. I'm not at the, in a denomination. I was for a long time. Uh, I'm sort of like uh, he likes several people out there just trying to follow God and just do what he's told me to do. And he's told me to be on here and he told me to get on Instagram. So I did that. Uh, but everything is in his time and it takes money to build anything. And it's going to take people and money to help me like everybody else. So it's important that not only you uh, support it, if you believe in me or what I'm doing for Jesus, but also that you uh, invite other people and uh, and really pray for me. All right, so not going anywhere, just throwing it out there. It needs to be said. <laughs> so uh, the Lord's good. That's it for today. I'm tired. So Monday and Tuesday and most of Wednesday, I just lay around, and that's what I'm about to do. Uh, you can send, once you join, become a follower on Instagram with me. Uh, we, you can send me messages too, and uh, you can send me messages on Facebook. Uh, I don't have any, I think I have a couple books on the Gospel of John. Uh, if you feel led of the Lord uh, uh, to find me a good commentary on the Gospel of John, you can purchase that. Whatever you can send me the offering where I can buy it. There's a lot of books I would love to buy. There's a lot of things I'd like to do, but I only can do so much. But if you feel led of the Lord, do what you feel led to do. And so, uh, signing off for today. Have a good day. And uh, hope you enjoyed the broadcast. And uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow at high noon. <laughs> God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And God bless the nation of Israel and the Jewish people.